How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I wanted to quickly talk about geo spoofing and of course what are the benefits and how you can geo spoof your location using a VPN. Now geo spoofing is pretty self-explanatory. It simply means hiding your geographic location online and of course you can do it using a VPN by simply selecting a server and um, let's say I select East London right here and then I go over to my IP finder right here and it will say that I am in the UK because as far as my internet is concerned at this point it thinks I'm in the UK so I have access to everything that is available in the UK. Now, of course, you use geo spoofing in order to bypass geo blocks and geo blocking is a method of limiting access to the Internet based on your location. So any user that is trying to log in from outside a country's geo location will receive an error stating that the programs are only available in that region. For example, HBO Max here is only available in the United States. So when I try to access it, I'm not going to have access to it because I'm not in the United States. So it gives me me this geo availability URL right here and it says it's not available in my region. So this is one very obvious benefit of geo spoofing your location. Another reason some users may choose to geo spoof their location is to get around censorship because many countries restrict content on the internet. In the Middle East, Russia and China, users in those countries may choose to geo spoof so that they can find out what is really going on online and in the world around them since their internet is heavily censored. So of course there are a bunch of benefits to geo spoofing your location especially when using a VPN you can encrypt your traffic so that you make yourself completely anonymous you can torrent safely you can access streaming services from all over the world and simply find websites that may not be available to you and get access to them maybe you're trying to purchase a certain product and it's a little bit more expensive in your region so you can connect to another region where you can get yourself a little bit of a discount so on and so forth of course there are so many reasons to use a VPN and to geospoof your location. And just to give you an example right here. So as you can tell, HBO Max is not available in my region. What I want to do right now is let's just go ahead and use ExpressVPN to demonstrate. By the way, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation, what you're looking for out of your VPN. I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate using ExpressVPN's US Washington server right here. And the moment I'm connected, just wanna show you guys real quick. If I refresh, it'll show as if I'm in the United States. So now that I'm in the United States, I should have access to HBO Max if I just try to log in right here I'll have access to it as if I'm in the United States myself and I can make use of my HBO Max account instead of uh, not being able to it's as simple as that so if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs again they all have varying budgets so let's say you don't want to go with the best of the best uh, which is Express VPN right here of course it comes with a premium price you can go down to NordVPN, which is roughly half the price, but of course you get different benefits with NordVPN. And if you want to go with the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing much quality, you can go with Surfshark. If you want to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below. And of course, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts if you want to jump straight to those. They're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee though. So let's say you get Nord and now you want to get ExpressVPN because you're not satisfied with Nord for whatever reason, which is unlikely to be the case, honestly, since these are the top three VPNs. Regardless, you can get yourself the refund. Granted, you ask for it before the 30th date. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.